Longman Real TOEIC Actual Test Listening Comprehension. Actual Test 7. Listening Comprehension. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on the answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're sitting at the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're sitting at the table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The bus is unloading some passengers. B. The bus stop is under construction. C. Some people are waiting to board the bus. D. There is room only for standing on the bus. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. Some people are having their picture taken. B. The park benches are fully occupied. C. The sculptures are being painted outside. D. The entire area has been fenced off to visitors. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The woman is waving at some people. B. The man is getting into the vehicle. C. The parking lot is lined with cars. D. The people are washing a car. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. The man is strolling along the seashore. B. The fishing rod has been set on the beach. C. The man is repairing his fishing equipment. D. The waves are crashing on the beach. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. Some people are talking in groups. B. All the people are dressed alike. C. Some people are seated by the staircase. D. People are not allowed to stand on the grass. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The restaurant is now open for business. B. A customer is carrying a backpack. C. People are enjoying their meals at an outdoor cafe. D. A woman is paying for her groceries. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. Cars are waiting for the traffic signal to change. B. Pedestrians are crossing the street. C. A police officer is directing traffic. D. Both sides of the street are lined with trees. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. People are drinking beverages outside. B. 
Customers are being served at an outdoor food stand. C. Potted plants have been placed along the sidewalk. D. People are participating in a guided tour. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. The building is surrounded by tall trees. B. The signs are posted on the wall. C. The roof of the building has lettering. D. The building is located in an urban setting. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. A man is sitting behind the steering wheel. B. Columns are decorated with wooden sculptures. C. There is a fire truck parked on the street. D. Bystanders are participating in a fire drill. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or a statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now listen to an example question. You will hear, where is the meeting room? You will also hear, A, to meet the new director. B, it's the first room on the right. C, yes at 2 o'clock. The best response to the question, where is the meeting room, is choice B. It's the first room on the right, so B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part 2 with question number 11. Number 11. When is the deadline for the assignment? A. To pay the amount by the due date. B. Yes, it's already past 5. C. You have until the end of the week to do it. Number 12. Why did you congratulate your colleague? A. At the awards banquet. B. Yes, she was very motivated. C. She just received a special promotion. Number 13. What time are we going to the stadium? A. We will leave right after lunch. B. The game will last three hours. C. Yes, I'm a big sports fan. Number 14. Do you want me to ship you the incomplete orders or give it another week? A. I want to place an order immediately. B. Just send me what you have for now. C. If you have enough time. Number 15. Who's picking up the delegation from the airport? A. The hotel near downtown. B. I was planning to do it myself. C. Thanks if you don't mind. Number 16. Can you send me some money by Tuesday? A. The bank closes early today. B. In cash, if at all possible. C. Of course, even sooner than that. Number 17. Miss Perez is the new owner of the company, isn't she? A. No, she's meeting a friend. B. She owns a small cottage. C. Yes, I think she is. Number 18. Where did you hear about the job offer? A. I couldn't hear a thing. B. The offer expires at the end of the month. C. A couple of my friends work for the company. Number 19. 
Number 19. Wouldn't it be better to phone before we get there? A. Yes, but it's much more expensive. B. I need one with an answering machine. C. Don't worry. I already have everything taken care of. Number 20. Why wasn't I notified of the changes in plan? A. Not until next week. B. I just found out about it myself. C. You are very kind. Thank you. Number 21. Who will be paying for the accommodation while you're in town? A. I'll be staying at a hotel. B. The company will be covering all the expenses. C. Please sign up for collision coverage. Number 22. When can we expect to receive the invoice for the new product brochure? A. Apparently it was quite a while ago. B. It was billed directly to my office. C. Let me ask my supervisor. Number 23. How much discount applies to this dishwasher? A. Include shipping and handling charges. B. Will deduct 30%. C. Great, that makes it a real bargain. Number 24. Did the board members approve your proposal? A. May I ask for your permission? B. It proved to be totally unreliable. C. I'm still waiting for it. Number 25. What do you think about the blueprints for the new facility? A. I'm really impressed with them. B. We're out of copy paper. C. In order to facilitate our move. Number 26. Why don't you email your order directly to the store manager? A. Let me see if I have his address. B. On the back of the directory. C. They are listed in chronological order. Number 27. Shouldn't we ask our lawyer to draw up a new agreement? A. Always read the fine print carefully. B. Our contract is fine as it is. C. Because of some minor errors. Number 28. Where should I submit this invoice now that Mr. Lee has resigned? A. Until we find his replacement. B. Just hold on to it for a while. C. He handed in his resignation yesterday. Number 29. The training program for the Microtech software was really thorough, wasn't it? A. Yes, I understand it quite well now. B. I distributed it to every department. C. Only after thorough testing. Number 30. Let me reassure you that we have the strictest quality control standards in the industry. A. Oh, how convenient. B. Yes, I'm well aware of the fact. C. Qualified candidates are rare to find. Number 31. Would you please change the toner cartridge in the photocopier this afternoon? A. But I changed it already this morning. B. 10 cents a copy. C. All of the lines are busy. Number 
Do you know what's on the agenda for the next meeting? A. Quarter past ten, I believe. B. Just the usual topics. C. My travel agent in San Francisco. Number 33. Be sure to mail the invitations before noon. A. That won't be a problem. B. At the post office. C. I'll take your name off the mailing list. Number 34. Where are you planning to stay on your visit to Boston? A. For about two weeks. B. I wouldn't bet on it if I were you. C. At a bed and breakfast that I know. Number 35. Was your flight delayed by the weather this morning? A. I don't know whether they arrived or not. B. Yes, she always arrives late on Mondays. C. Yes, I thought I'd never make it on time. Number 36. How long will it take to get to the airport from here? A. It depends on which time of the day you're traveling. B. Not more than three months. C. Not before long. Number 37. Would you like to pick up the paycheck in person or should I mail it to your home? A. The new personnel manager. B. Yes, I like the way it is now. C. I'll try to drop by this afternoon. Number 38. You've chosen some candidates to interview for the position, haven't you? A. I've already applied for the job. B. None of them look very promising. C. We are still waiting for their press release. Number 39. Do you have a room reserved for Miss Sonia Rodriguez? A. Tonight's performance is sold out already. B. No, there's nothing under that name. C. Yes, she checked out this past Friday. Number 40. I wonder if Catherine sent the package yet. A. The shipment didn't arrive today. B. She'll do it this afternoon. C. It was a wonderful dinner. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Now let us begin part three with question number 41. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Sally, I'm not feeling too well. I think I'm going to have to go home early. Could I please do that? Don't worry, Dan. Ms. Marcus is coming in. She can work on the translation. Just go home and take care of yourself. Is your wife home? Yes, she's at home. She certainly didn't want me to come to work today. You're lucky you have a wife that doesn't work and that is always there for you. Number 41. Who will work on the translation? Number 42. What do you know from the conversation? Number 43. Why is Dan a lucky man? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. 
Have you booked a hotel yet for your vacation to Toronto next month? No. Do you have any hotels you know in Toronto that are nice? No, not me. However, you could call Brian in the accounting department. He used to work in the hotel industry in Toronto. Wow, that's perfect. By the way, I am going to Toronto with Aaron, my boyfriend. I'm going to introduce him to my relatives there. Number 44. How does the man suggest the woman choose a hotel? Number 45. Why is the woman going to Toronto? Number 46. What will the woman do in Toronto? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Could you please tell me where I can find the canned soup? All of our canned soups are in aisle 6, next to the dried bean. Thanks. I must have walked right past it. You're welcome. Is there anything else you're looking for? Please just come and ask. I'll be right here to help you out. Number 47. Where are the speakers? Number 48. What is the woman looking for? Number 49. What does the man tell the woman? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Bay Stopper. What are you looking to buy, a new or used vehicle? It doesn't really matter as long as it's in good condition and can seat five people. Well, we have a lot in stock right now, so tell me the price range you were thinking of. Hmm, I'm thinking from $10,000 to 20000 Do you think you've got some good cars in that price range? Number 50. Where is the woman most likely? Number 51. What does the woman want to do? Number 52. What are the conditions the car has to be in? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I can't believe this restaurant. It is so crowded at 11 a.m. I thought we were being smart by coming early. Don't you have to be at your desk by 12? Unfortunately, yes. Maybe if we wait 15 minutes, it will clear out. I don't know. No one can guarantee that. Why don't we just try the sushi restaurant next door? Number 53. When must the woman be back at work? Number 54. What does the woman believe will happen? Number 55. What does the man suggest? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Has the Finance Committee finished producing the handouts for the presentation yet? I think they're still waiting for some data from the marketing team. It's their second time delaying the handouts. Yeah, it's important to finish on time. The Board of Trustees is eagerly waiting to hear what we have to say. Yes, I know. There's always a hindrance when big men try to do some great work. Number 56. Who is the presentation for? Number 57. What is delaying the presentation? Number 58. What can you assume from the conversation? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hey Mary, the technician called and he won't be here until tomorrow. Oh no, 
I was hoping you could update the spreadsheet before you go home. Oh yes, maybe you could use one of the computers in the research department. Mary, I was hoping to get out of work early and go on a date with my girlfriend today. Do you really have to do this to me? There's no difference even if you do the spreadsheets tomorrow. I am sorry, Jack, but you have to do the work in order to earn your salary. I won't report to the boss about your complaint, but you have to finish the work if you want to go out or whatever. Number fifty-nine. How will Jack probably complete his work? Number sixty. What did Jack want to do? Number sixty-one. What does the woman tell Jack? Question sixty-two through sixty-four refer to the following conversation. Isn't the cafeteria serving its new menu this week? I heard that it will be much better than the menus before. No, the manager decided that meals are too expensive to prepare. Are you serious? I've been so excited to see some better food this week. Well, what can you do? Our manager will not spend a penny for the good of his employees. Number sixty-two. Why is the new service not being accepted? Number sixty-three. What was the man excited for? Number sixty-four. What do you know about the manager? Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to the following conversation. There's a great review of that new science fiction movie in the paper today. Really? I wasn't all that impressed by the film. It started with the scene in the laboratory and ended with the same scene in the laboratory. I wonder what they liked about the movie. Well, that's surprising. The critics loved it. Are you sure you watched the right movie? Yeah, for sure. It was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Number sixty-five. What are the speakers talking about? Number sixty-six. What did the man think of the movie? Number sixty-seven. What do you know from the conversation? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation. I saw that customer service has two openings, and I'm interested. But you're so good at sales, and it would mean a decrease in salary, though. You know that. Yes, I know that. But I usually spend at least two weeks out of the month on the road, and it's really tiring. It's also dangerous. Well, if you really want to work in customer service and not regret it, then I can refer you to my ex-boss in that field. Number sixty-eight. Where does the man currently work? Number sixty-nine. Why does the man want to work in customer service? Number seventy. What will the woman do if the man wants to work for customer service? Part four. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Now let us begin part four with question number seventy-one. Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling the Gold Music Library. If you know the extension of the party you would like to reach, you may dial it at any time. Our regular hours are from nine a.m. to five p.m. Monday through Friday. Access to our special archives can be arranged by contacting John Beth 
at extension 25. If you'd like to leave a message for our administrative office, please wait for the beep and then begin speaking. Thank you. Number 71. What type of facility does the message give information about? Number 72. What time does the facility open on Mondays? Number 73. How can a caller reach John Beth? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Do you like Asian food? Then you will love Shanghai House. Located at 66 Hayes Street. Drop in at lunchtime for special Vietnamese dishes, fresh summer rolls, spicy soups, vegetables and meats. For dinner, how about world-famous Italian cooking with traditional Vietnamese spices? But what really sets the Shanghai House apart is the atmosphere. Tables are inside a tropical beach house setting, open and breezy with wooden ceiling fans, complete with a life-size sailboat in the main dining room. We hope that you'll stop by soon. Number 74. What is being advertised? Number 75. What does the speaker say about Shanghai House? Number 76. What is found in one of the rooms? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Good morning. I want to make an announcement before we start the meeting. New carpeting will be installed on the second floor of the building starting on Monday morning. The work is expected to take two days. If your office is located on that floor, please check the bulletin board in the lobby for your temporary office assignment. Also, please make sure your computers are turned off and unplugged before you leave on Friday. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know after the meeting. Number 77. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 78. Where can employees find the notice with their office assignments? Number 79. What are the employees asked to do on Friday before they leave? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Attention food supply shoppers! This is your food market manager, Rose Pitt, alerting you to some fantastic deals we have for you this afternoon. In our fruit section, delicious red apples are just a dollar a kilogram. Also, customers with a Food Supply Shoppers card can purchase new Crunch breakfast cereal at half price. Don't miss out on the savings in our drink aisle, where we are offering all customers a discount on six packs of spring fresh mineral water. And remember to pick up your complimentary shopping bag before you leave. It's our way of thanking you for shopping with us. Number 80. What is the purpose of this announcement? Number 81. What is Ms. Pitt's job? Number 82. What can people receive for free as they leave? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following short talk. Beginning next week, we'll be upgrading the company's telephone messaging system. The new system will include some features that should help us communicate more efficiently, especially on group projects. Keep in mind that messages stored on the old system won't be transferred to the new one. 
So it's important for everyone to take time to review all your saved messages by the end of this week. Otherwise, you might lose important information. The installation work will be completed by the end of the month. Number 83. When is the work scheduled to begin? Number 84. According to the speaker, what is an advantage of the change? Number 85. What does the speaker advise the employees to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Fundamentals of Management. I'm Susan Jung, and I'll be your instructor for this 12-week course. Each week, we'll cover a different aspect of business management. Some of the topics we'll study include creating and maintaining a department budget, resolving conflicts amongst your staff, and positively motivating your employees. You'll have weekly reading assignments in our textbook, Better Business Management, which are occasionally supplemented with magazine and journal articles, as well as websites I think you'll find interesting. Of course, I figure over the next 12 weeks you'll learn the most from classroom discussions with your classmates, who are all experienced business professionals at various stages of their careers. That's the real value of taking a course like this. Number 86. How long will the course run? Number 87. What is the main subject of the course? Number 88. What does the speaker consider most valuable? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hello everyone, this will be a quick meeting and I'll be very brief. I just wanted to let you know a change in policy. It used to be that when a customer called to get technical support and we couldn't solve the problem during the call, we asked the customer to call back. From now on, when you come across that kind of situation, you need to give the customer a case number before hanging up. This will help us track each customer's problem much more efficiently. Number 89 What's the purpose of this meeting? Number 90. What is the job of the staff who are attending the meeting? Number 91. What does the speaker ask the staff to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. As we walk through the hall, please direct your attention to the woodwork around the doorways. Hand-carved embellishments add a special antique charm to each entryway. Modern renovations such as the newly installed fire doors and security locks have been incorporated with great care to preserve the unique historical features. Now we'll move upstairs to the rooms on the second floor. Number 92. What is the speaker most likely doing? Number 93. How is the property being improved recently? Number 94. What will the group most likely do next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement. This announcement is for hospital personnel. Parking Area 1 will be closed today between 12 o'clock and 2 p.m. so that snow pilots can clear away ice and snow. You may park in either Parking Area 2 or 3 which have already been cleared. You may also park in available spaces at Flint Pharmacy or behind the Love Health Clinic. 
The weather is getting colder with more precipitation in the form of snow or snow rain tonight and continuing through tomorrow. Travellers are advised to watch for icy patches on the roads. We will keep you updated on weather conditions as well as parking regulations. Number 95. Why has parking been restricted? Number 96. Where may hospital personnel not park between noon and 2 pm today? Number 97. What is the forecast for tomorrow's weather? Questions. 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement. Here is the community arts calendar for the week of August 10th. This Saturday, Clinton Township Band will be performing at Groves Auditorium. Highlights of the evening include Bach's solo piano and Chopin's concerto in E minor. This Sunday, the Youth Arts Center will sponsor a visit to the City Art Museum. Interested young artists should call 344 Arts for details. Early American Crafts will be the focus of the monthly lecture in the University Hall. The lecture is open to the public and begins at 7 pm on Tuesday. Number 98. Where can residents hear music this week? Number 99. What activity is planned especially for teenagers? Number 100. What would be a good title for this month's lecture? This is the end of the actual test.